Hey guys, so it is 6.28, 6.28 on Monday the 12th of December, so we went to bed last night, it was a bit restless and couldn't really sleep, I was having sort of running contractions, which I'd have, I've been having for like over a week now anyway, Isla's got conjunctivitis and she was staring off as well, I couldn't quite get to sleep. I think I slept for about an hour when we first went to bed. Feeling like I was having contractions, but I felt like I was dreaming about having it. <laughs> like it didn't feel quite real. And then I stared a bit more, woke up a bit more, decided and needed, desperately needed a toilet. Toilet normally, came back to bed, tried to get comfortable, go back to sleep, that sort of thing. But I was like tossing and turning. I just, in my head, just kept going like, something doesn't feel quite right, doesn't feel normal I just I wasn't sure really what was going on but I just knew like I just knew something was up um and then Ida started making noise and then she started calling for me and Liam I got up to go and Liam stared and was like oh do you want me to come do, do you want me to go and stuff and I was like well, we can both go if you want so we both went into her Liam picked her up she was a bit grizzly which she has been because of her eyes and stuff and so saying now it's her and she wasn't feeling too great and then my waters went it was literally like I can definitely you can tell the difference now. Like, oh, it was it was a gush, it, like literally all came out down my leg. My waters have been breaking, as in like I've had more come out a couple of times. I've been getting contractions, but they're really not consistent. So they started feeling like they were getting more intense and more consistent. So I got Liam to ring his dad. He's here now, come over to look after Isla. Isla woke up because she was obviously here, like, you know, all the noises and she was sort of awake and she didn't really go back to sleep properly. So we've all sort of got up, sort of expecting to go in. I rang them at like half five-ish, I think. Um, rang the hospital, explained that my water was gone. I was a bit concerned about the colouring. She said it was fine and asked obviously about all my details. Uh, and she said obviously to wait at home until like, things got moving a bit more. I was concerned about his movements at the time because he hadn't really moved a lot so she told me to lay on my side try and get him to move which he has been moving yeah my contractions just don't seem to be really getting going at the moment it's a bit getting me a bit concerned I'll probably have to try and walk around and do a bit more and stuff but I don't know what to do I feel like you know you expect your waters to go and then it all to be dramatic and start going into labour properly and I think <laughs> uh, I feel like this pregnancy has been forever, this everything, but he should be here within the next 24 hours or so. I know they can't leave you too long without having, without, you know, like, cause due to infection and stuff. So if he doesn't come on his own in however long, I'll probably have to go in, check, be checked, and they might end up having to stop sort of inducing me, which I really don't want. So I'm going to try my hardest to do this myself. Hey guys, so we are on the way to the hospital, it is half four, um, it's been a long, long day, basically my water's broken at like four in the morning um, and I've had on and off contractions all day but nothing consistent, nothing solidly improving but I've still been losing my waters pretty much all day throughout the day, um, so the like hospital rang us about 10 something and said that um, if nothing has progressed by, by four to ring them and to let them know um, basically that's what we did and they said to come in and be checked and stuff and we're probably obviously going to discuss our options which will probably be like induction wise where we want to go from here because it's clearly like I'm still losing quite a bit of water and fluid um, but contractions just don't seem to be quite there um, it's making me, to be honest, a fair bit nervous, but hopefully we'll have a better idea when we get there where, where things are at and they'll be able to check him. Um, he's still been moving quite a bit, so I think he's alright, but obviously they'll be able to check that properly when we're there. We'll probably be having it, I agree. <laughs> Dark in here, really hot. 
Gimana gak kegori? Nah, we have fun. Yeah, <laughs> one every ten minutes. Maybe three every ten minutes. Yeah. And the waters at the back have gone. <laughs> yeah, because we've got four waters. Yeah, bulging in his head because it feels shiny all the time. I don't know how it feels shiny, but. <laughs> <laughs> The lady's gonna get a second opinion and maybe do the pessary. It all takes more time to get the contractions going, so. And then go from there. Probably, I need to go for a walk around and try and get them moving. Look at Clearly close. <laughs> Jeez. So pretty. They popped it. Yeah. Didn't know she popped it. <laughs> they popped a bad apple. But they haven't done the best right now. Let's see how we're going with this off. Oh, if I can get one in myself, we can have a walk. If it's free. <laughs> <laughs> After all this. So, finding in labour and delivery. We've got the key running. <coughs> so, she's about six centimetres now. Just moved over from the other ward back over here. And get this ready and get comfortable, yeah? So. <laughs> Hmm. Feel better in the back in the pool, right? Yeah, it's still very beautiful. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
being in the pool. Not at the moment. Still sleeping. Still sleeping. Look. I'm sure he likes them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just Can you give him a kiss? Gently give him a kiss. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Can you give mummy kisses? It's mummy out here. Mm -hmm. Love you. I've got car. Doctor, well, there's midwives out there at the moment. Can you give me a smile? Daddy, smile. <laughs> Baby, wake up. Nah. Well, he might do. He's been sleeping a long time. Babies sleep a lot. They do. And why are you? Never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to wake up, wasn't he, a little bit? You're holding your little brother. Let me hold your arm as well. Here he cuddles. Do you like him? Yeah. Can we keep him? Let's give him that. Let's give him that, okay. No. That's very nice. You're going to give him a kiss. Would you like to give him a kiss on his head? Good girl. <laughs> Wiggling. What's he doing? Playing. Is he playing? <laughs> I think he's sleeping, but he wiggles in his sleep, doesn't he? Look at his tiny hand. The little finger. You were that small once. Yeah. You were his baby like him. And then what happened? Got bigger. Bigger and bigger. I'll get bigger and bigger. Yeah, you'll get bigger and bigger. Don't you bigger, bigger, no, Kayla. Yeah. 
Is that from the command? Yeah. Ricky Kiki likes his bird, is it you got him? Mm. Your little ducky. Hey Tucker. Mm. I think Ruben yeah. has got some presents for you. Yeah. Yeah. For becoming a big sister, Mummy, Daddy and Ruben picked out some presents for you. Would you yeah. like to open them? Another one. <laughs> that one and one more. That one I know. That's a monkey. Yeah. You've got your own little baby monkey. That was a monkey. Oh god, that was a bit Say thank you to Ruben. Thank you, Ruben. That's you all do. of them, except for a lollipop. Mm. Wow. The last one is a lollipop. Is that nice? Getting some presents for becoming a big sister. Daddy, open it in a minute for you. You talk to mummy quickly. Daddy? Huh? Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll open it in a minute. I think you need to eat a bit more other food first, yeah, we'll darling. Yeah, have some more sandwich first, yeah? Yeah. 